Hey guys, what's up? It's Malko Zonki. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a Fight Caves guide. So I have just completed the Fight Caves. Um, so when you watch the actual footage of me in the Fight Caves, my inventory is going to be looking a little bit different. But I had not done a Fight Caves, not on a Slayer task in a really, really long time. And the last couple times I did Fight Caves, I used Drygores. And this time, I figured since probably a lot of you guys doing the Fight Caves might not have Drygores if you're trying to do the Fight Caves for your first time. So I am wearing a Chaotic Staff. Um, if you do not have one of these wear a staff of light or a polypore if you don't have either of those train your magic up a little bit until you have at least a staff of light or a polypore because it's going to be pretty difficult to kill jad without at least one of those i have an arcane stream necklace you can wear a glory or fury um i'm wearing sea singers if you don't have sea singers that's fine you don't need it just wear ganodermic armor instead um i also have a max cape if you don't have that wear a skill cape and if you don't have a skill cape wear a god cape from the mage arena in the wilderness and uh, Virtus gloves can be replaced with Gano gloves. Ragefire boots can be replaced with Gano boots. Um, if you don't have the gear I'm wearing, it's not going to slow you down that much at all, so really don't worry about it. I was just wearing these things to be safe because I didn't want to look like a fool and die on video, and I ended up completing the fight caves, obviously, because otherwise you wouldn't be seeing this video. And then I wore the Vampirism Aura, which was great because I did not have to use food or soul split the entire caves. Um, so if you are like 99 magic and overloaded and using um, Torment the entire caves, which is what I did, and you have the Vampirism Aura, you won't need any food. Um, if you have lower stats and lower weapons and stuff, though, bring along a few emergency food and bring lots of prayer for soul split. Um, so this is the inventory I recommend. You can't get it done in one overload flask if you're not on a Slayer task. If you are on a Slayer task, you can, but I was not, unfortunately. Um, or if you're maging and not melee, and meleeing is a little bit faster. So anyway, in your inventory, you want two overload flasks, two prayer renewals. If you don't have overloads, bring two extreme magic flasks. If you don't have those, bring two super magic flasks. Whole ton of prayer, and just use torment the entire caves. If you don't have torment, um... Just use your best magic boosting spells, I'll just say that. And then if it is your first time doing the fight caves, uh, maybe bring a little bit more food than this, but you got to remember it is very, very easy, so you shouldn't have too much of a trouble with the fight caves. So now that we're done with the gear itself, I'm going to go into doing the fight caves, and uh, I'll see you guys there and run you through the waves. Really sped up, obviously, but you'll be able to see every single wave and what I did for them. Okay, so we are now in the fight caves. I have this all sped up by five times, but don't worry, the Jad fight itself is not sped up. Um, so you'll be able to see the full Jad fight in depth and what I did. Um, I actually tried to do something pretty cool. I tried to like out DPS the Jad healers, um, which you used to be able to do after the evolution of combat. I've only done one previous fight, Fire Cape, before this um, in the evolution of combat, and I was using Dragors during that fight, and it was faster because I was also on a Slayer task. But anyway, if you do have Drygores, I would highly recommend to bring them. Um, I know I'm not showing melee in this fight, but if you do have access to weapons like that or Ascension Crossbows or something like that, um, you can pretty much do exactly what I do. All I do is I stand in the middle of the caves. Um, I use Sunshine as much as possible because that ability is just crazy awesome. Uh, if you were ranging, you would use the Death Swiftness ability. Of course, you need to complete the World Wakes quest to unlock these abilities. If you do not have World Wakes quest completed, use Metamorphosis um, if you are maging. And if you're ranging, I don't know, all the range ultimates other than Death Swiftness kind of suck. So I, you might be out of luck if you haven't completed World's Wakes. And then, of course, if you decide to melee the Fight Caves... Um, which is the fastest, but also the most challenging for beginners, you would be using Berserk as much as possible. So yeah, the basic strategy is, even if you don't have great armor, I know I am in Sea Singers in this video, and it has great defense, um, but even so, the Sea Singers armor, the armor I'm wearing has zero range defense, and I'm still not even getting hit by the Rangers at all. So, as you can see, um, the Fight Caves are just very, very easy. You don't need a whole lot of defense for this. So, even if you're just in armor like Ganodermic or even Arims, um, you should just be able to stand in the middle of Fight Caves and just kill everything. Uh, since no none of these monsters hit really high, because even if they do hit you, it's usually a really low hit, like a 200 or so. Um, the Vampirism Aura was able to heal me all the way till Jad, and I 
Don't want to spoil anything, but I did not use any food on Jad either, so I ended up doing a new no food fight caves, which is the first time that I've ever done a no food fight caves, because last time I did a fight caves, I think I missed a prayer switch on Jad itself. So, um, yeah, I'm going to sh like show my recording time a few times during this video, so um, at that time I was at 11 minutes 50 seconds. This this uh, whole fight caves took a lot longer than I expected it to. I thought I could get it done in under 40 minutes. That turned out not to be the case. You'll see how long the fight took um, after I kill Jad. I show my final time, so you'll be able to see that at the end of the video. I don't want to spoil too much. Um, but yeah, last time I did this, it was much faster because I was on a Slayer task. And if you are on a Slayer task, if you get a Jad task from Kuradel, just don't forget your Slayer Helm because it will help a ton. It has, um, if you have the Mighty Slayer Helm, it has a 14% accuracy and damage boost. The accuracy is completely irrelevant since uh, you pretty much hit everything pretty accurately anyway. Um, I splashed a little bit on the Rangers while I wasn't overloaded because I, of course, did not realize the fight caves were going to take so long, so I did not bring enough overloads for the entire caves. Um, so just keep that in mind if you are bringing overloads and you're not on a slur task, you will need two flasks, or if you bring re regular potions like three overload potions. Um, prayer wasn't really an issue. I brought too many prayer pots. So if you see how many prayer pots are in my inventory, that is more than you need. Um, but yeah, it is much, much faster if you are on Slayer Task. And I would recommend if you are using Kuradel for your Slayer Master and you need a Fire Cape either to do the Ice Strike Worms task. Um, for example, if you just got 92 Slayer and you really want to do the Ice Strike Worms task because they're good XP. And I have a guide on those, by the way. You know, little shout out to myself there, I guess. Um... Yeah, like for example, you need that um, that fire cape. If you don't want to spend 2,000 Slayer points on the ability to kill Ice Strike Worms without a fire cape, which is the biggest ripoff out of all ripoffs in this entire game, completely not worth it at all to do that. Um, so yeah, if you need the fire cape for Ice Strike Worms, I guess if you want to also do a kiln, um, you need a fire cape to do your initial kiln. You don't need a fire cape for every kiln, but um, the very first time you ever do a kiln, you do have to sacrifice a fire cape to get in the kiln. So that's what I would, you know, if you want to do your first kiln, get your Takar Cal. Um, I guess you could also do a kiln for an Uncut Onyx, but that's not really worth it anymore because Uncut Onyxes are not worth very much money anymore. Um, you can do that as well. Uh, so that's what you want to do and as i was saying if you do use curdell as a slayer master i would recommend just to wait until she gives you a jad task and then do it then because it'll just be a lot faster um i wouldn't really say it's easier because being on a slayer task doesn't really affect your defense or anything but it will make the fight caves quite a bit faster um so one thing that i did want to mention uh before we get too far into this video is I am going to be uploading a kiln video probably tomorrow or the day after that. Um, I was asked in the the friends chat to do a kiln video, so I'm going to be doing that. Um, I might possibly even be racing someone in the friends chat of you know start the kiln at the same time and who can get the kiln done the fastest. And I think that would be a really fun idea. I have not done a kiln in about a year, um, so I kind of have no idea what I'm doing. And when I last did a kiln, um, I was using Dragors, and this was before the Dragors accuracy was nerfed a bit, so they literally did not miss on anything. So you could just use Dragors the entire kiln, which is what I did, and it made it very, very, very easy. Um, but I believe kiln or Dragors have been updated to the points, and we're now at you know, 29 minutes into the fight case, so still a, de a decent time, but not a great time. Um, but now, yeah, you do want to be using different combat styles and stuff when you are in a kiln. Um, so that will be interesting. So if you want to see my kiln video, um, if you're watching this af in like a day or two after it's uploaded, it should be up. And if not, um, just wait till tomorrow and the kiln video should be up. Um, and hopefully I won't miserably fail in that. I'm thinking I'll get it first try just because my first ever kiln, I got it on my first try. And the last kiln I did, I also did it pretty easily, um, barely using any food or anything. So, yeah, kiln and uh, fight caves are just very, very easy nowadays. I think it's just because the regular monsters don't do any damage. You can still die on Jad um, if you're lagging really bad. If your action bar is broken like mine is, I missed a prayer switch because my action bar was broken. You'll see that. Luckily, the prayer switch did not kill me or anything, but... Um, if your action bar is broken like mine is, how mine is, is um, as you can see on my action bar, I have pro protect from magic as the X key and protect from range as the C key. 
if I press X or C, 90% of the time it does nothing. So I can spam the C key and my character will not protect from range. So I actually physically have to click the key, which is very annoying. I don't know why it does that. It only does that with prayers. Um, because if I just use regular abilities in the action bar, it works just fine. But if I try to use prayers on my action bar, um, it almost never works. So I'm not sure why that is. Um, I don't know if it's something wrong with the game or if there's something wrong with my keyboard or if it's because of lag or something. Because when I am recording, I always lag a little bit. It's usually not too bad. Um, but there always is a slight amount of lag there. Um, but anyway, I guess the last thing we I wanted to mention, because we are going to be getting up to the Jad fight pretty soon. We're in the late 50s here so the jedi is coming right up um this was suggested for me to do in my friends chat i just said in my friends chat uh, what kind of video would you guys like to see and for some reason a whole bunch of people said make a fight caves guide i don't know why but uh a whole lot of people did that so that's why i did this video so if you really have some videos that you would like to see me do um you can either post them in the comments here i do read all my comments for the most part i don't read comments in like old videos so i do have videos that still get comments so i don't read them but um, on all my new uploads, I do read all the comments, so if there's a certain video you really, really want to see, um, just either post it in the comments or come into my friend's chat while I'm, I'm online and tell me to make that video, and I can do that. Um, so anyway, we are on wave 61, I believe. So there's two rangers on this wave. You know um, it's the wave right before Jad when you have the two majors. There's the two melee creatures and then the one major at wave 62. 61 and wave 62 is the two magic creatures and then wave 63 which is jad comes right after this one so you just want to get into the safe spot where i am and we'll switch to the jad fight okay now it is time for the jad fight itself we're finally there um and i will have put in the description a link just to skip towards to this fight so if you just skip towards this fight welcome if not thanks for watching the whole video i guess but anyway uh what i do with jad is immediately use sunshine if you didn't catch that during the last part of the video i did adrenaline stall which is basically just using defensive abilities every time your character is just going out of combat and what that does is that keeps your character's adrenaline from draining so that's what i recommend to do just um as soon as your character gets out of his um, attacking stance immediately use anticipation and then when he does it again use freedom and then by the time you're about ready to go out of combat again jad should be there so if you adrenaline stall you can use um what's it called you can use sunshine right away so that's why i'd recommend to do that and the healers are actually pretty insane uh and there's the prayer switch i did I did click on the button or press the key or something, so it's not like I missed the prayer switch. My prayer just did not toggle for some reason. So luckily he didn't hit me, um, but I only missed that one prayer switch during this kill. Um, usually I'm pretty good with the whole prayer switching thing, so that wasn't too much of a problem. And then, yeah, as soon as you get all the healers on you, just use Sunshine or Metamorphosis again, and then Jat is just a piece of cake after that. Um, also... When you when you are attracting the healers, just make sure you use the chain ability because it'll hit like three of them at once so you don't have to run around too much. I guess that's just a slight tip. So yeah, as soon as all the healers are alert, just use Sunshine or Metamorphosis if you haven't completed the World Wakes. And then immediately after that, um, get up to Threshold, use as, it, the Asphyxia ability, and Jad should be dead. So 46 minute fight cave, that's decent, I guess. It's not great. It's possible to get much faster than that. But that's decent for a non-Slayer Task Fight Cave. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Join my friends chat and game. Thank you guys for watching, and farewell.